Hello, everybody. Um, <clears throat> wanted to update you guys on what I was reading, um, since that was uh, such a random thing that happened. So this book, Stovepiper Book One, um, edited by Mike Daly, uh, Bukowski, Neely Trigovsky, Steve Richman. This was amazing i absolutely absolutely loved it if any one of you can find a copy of this it is so worth it um there's i found so many great people in here which is kind of exactly what i was really hoping for and marvin malone there's some great stuff of him um anna christie um alan kaufman uh, let's see, Bill Shields. Uh, it, it's just, it, it, it was great. Like, everything, there wasn't, the worst stuff in here was Bukowski's stuff, which um, shocked me. And then the big old chunky um, Steve Richmond chapbook, The Poets Are All Liars. Great stuff. Great stuff. So this, I'm going to be dipping into this a bunch here and there because um, this is probably one of the best poetry collections I've read in a really long time. So oh, this was so breath of fresh air, um, soul food, comfort food, the whole thing loved it <clears throat> but I did get another book in the mail um, and just uh, for the um, people who were going oh how's uh, um, Visions of Cody going Visions of Cody is going rough um, yeah, it's going rough um, that's the best way to put that okay so <clears throat> um the Art Spirit by Robert Henry. If, okay, I want you to see how far into this book I am. This is the beginning of the book. This is how far into it I am. Look at that, okay? The reason being is because if you are an artist, if you are a musician, if you are a writer, if you are a sculptor, if you are a baker, if you are in special effects, whatever your art is, whatever you do, get this book. Get this book. Especially if you ever feel um, like self-doubt. Like if you are making something or you want to do something like that. You want to be painting. You want to be drawing you want to be playing your guitar whatever whatever it is that you do if you want to do those things but you have these like well you know there's so many other people doing it or um i don't know if i'm good enough and blah blah blah, 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 blah. if you ever have anything like this go get this book and when you read it <clears throat> it was written in it's basically a collection of correspondence between Robert Henry, not come not what comes back. So it's just his stuff. So like um, letters, conversations with students, um, anything like that. Um, <clears throat> it was put together in the early twenties, so like twenty three. So the stuff is kind of dated, especially in how it's written. So um, like when he refers to the artist, he always refers to the artist as he, and all this other stuff. So like that might be tiresome for some people. Um, but, like, throw all that out, and let's just talk about, like, what he's saying. If you've ever read um, A.W. Tozer, okay, who was a um, religious writer, um, a Christian apologist, if you will, um, he used to romp with, like, Tolkien and C.S. Lewis or something like that, whatever. The way he 
wrote his book, The Pursuit of God, um, which um, it doesn't matter. But the way he wrote that book was so like, this is simple. This is simple. Why don't you get it? This is simple. This is written like the exact same way. It is so, it just like knocks you out. <clears throat> so, um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to start tackling this. Like you could seriously read a sentence or two a day and just like meditate on that and just sit on it. And it will just pull you up. Like, um, so, and here's what it looks like. So it's just like little sections of, um, <clears throat> kind of advice. I don't know. Art when really understood is the province of every human being. First line. That's it. There you go. It is simply a question of doing things, anything well. It is not outside. It is not an outside or an extra thing. Um, when the artist is alive in any person, whatever his kind of work may be, he becomes an inventive, searching, daring, self-expressing creature. He becomes interesting to other people. He disturbs, upsets, enlightens, and he opens ways for a better understanding. Where those who are not artists are trying to close the book, he opens it, shows there are still more pages possible. It's just a bunch of stuff like this. Um, but like seriously, you could um, cherish your own emotions and never undervalue them. It's, it's like reading a fucking fortune cookie for artists, okay? Um, we are not here to do what has already been done. Um, the world would stagnate without him, and the world would be beautiful with him, for he is interesting to himself and he is interesting to others. He does not have to be a painter or a sculptor to be an artist. He can work in any medium. He simply has to find the gain of the work itself, not outside it. Ugh. Museums of art will not make a country an art country, but where there is the art spirit, there will be precious works to fill museums. Just, good God, th this dude is like fucking Yoda, okay? Um, so this was, oh, was, I'm just going to be reading a little bit of this every day because when I just read a little bit of it, it fucking makes me feel so good. It lifts me up. It just, so this is going to be like a 365 day read. So the art spirit, Robert Henry, um, I actually found this because I was reading Room to Dream and um, this, the first like painter that David Lynch met when he was like growing up, I think he was like in high school at this point, like a fine art painter. He gave him a copy of this and said to read it and it like changed his life and no shit. It's very capable of changing anybody's life. Like this is just... If you need the motivation, if you need to feel that you can do, pick this up. It's really, really worth it. So anyway, <clears throat> so that's that. Um, I, uh, let me know if you guys have read these, if you're going to pick them up, if you're not going to pick them up, if you don't care, whatever. Um, and I will talk to you guys later.